So today I will be sharing with you three items that I just made recently and I love them. I love them. I love them. Okay, so the first one is a sweatshirt pattern and it is McCall 7688 and I made this out of a furry type of fabric and this is what it looks like and I purchased this fabric, the furry fabric from Hobby Lobby and because there are bands at the bottom and also bands around the sleeve area and the neckband area I wanted to use a different type of fabric instead of the fur in that area and so I purchased this fleece type of fabric from Joann Fabrics and it does have a little bit of stretch in it so I made sure it matched and I just you know placed the fleece around these areas here the three areas that I mentioned before and um, I really love this little sweatshirt sweater type of thing I love how soft this fabric is and the fact that it's white because I didn't have any white pullover sweaters or kind of a cream color so yes I really love it it is super easy to make so if you're interested in making this even if it's not in a furry fabric it should come together really quickly because it's just pretty pretty simple um, but yes that's it it's nothing to it not a whole lot going on but I just really love it okay so my next one make comes with a little story so I was in Joann Fabrics and I was thumbing through the Simplicity catalog and I saw this picture and I just fell in love with the garment that the woman was wearing in that picture so I purchased the pattern and I realized she was wearing view B I believe it is and not too long after I purchased the pattern, I went to Hobby Lobby and they had the exact same fabric that the model is wearing in that picture. So I purchased the fabric and I made that same garment and here it is. And I just really, really love it. It's called a double sided Sherpa and it's only two pieces for this make. So you have the sleeves and then you have this part which is the same for the front and the back. So it really doesn't matter which way you wear the garment because it's, it's the same. Um, like I said, the front and the back are the same. So for the sleeves, I did use some fusible web and then I did a little hand stitching to sew that down. But then for the hem, I just left it raw but I love this and then the collar is nice because you can wear it up or you can wear it down and in fact so loca Melissa who is another youtuber she made a garment with this same type of collar and I will link that video because it shows you exactly how this garment is I mean how this collar is sewn and it's really easy so um, she did a great job demonstrating how it's done so I'll link that if you want to see how to how to do the collar um, but yeah this was so so nice such a nice find this fabric so yes that's that so on that same pattern I also made view D which is what I'm wearing right here and I just used a stretch velvet and I really like the way this kind of is loose and it kind of swings around so it's nice and comfortable and this pattern this view is only one pattern piece so you just use to cut out the one pattern piece and you use the same for the front and the back and you just whip it up in no time so there you go so i will go ahead and show you what these two other garments look like on So before I go, I want to leave you with a love share. So I learned recently that in Japan there are public bathhouses. So if you decide that you would like to take a public community bath, you go to the bathhouse, you put your belongings away like in a locker, 
you pay a fee and then once you do that you are able to go and clean yourself off like take a shower or pour some water and soap over yourself and clean yourself off after you do that you go into this big community bathtub so you will be or you can be in there with others and you are separated so they have a, a section for men and then they have a section for women and you just spend some time in the water and you relax and one thing i also learned about the whole experience is if you have tattoos some places will not let you get into the community bathtub so i thought that that was so so interesting so thank you so very much for watching and i will be back in the next one if you enjoyed this video, I would love to know you can click on the little thumb that's sticking up below.